Hi, I'm Somu Padmanabhan from Voodoo's.com, a blog dedicated for woodworking and do-it-yourself projects. If you still haven't subscribed to my YouTube channel, it will be a great source of encouragement if you can do it now. I used one plank of 19mm plywood and two planks of 12mm plywood for this project. The dimensions, while they depend on your need, I have provided the measurements used for my project. I used the power drill and the hole saw for drilling holes. I also used a hand saw to cut my planks of wood. Take the 19mm strip of wood for the base. Mark the points where it needs to be cut or sawed. Use a handsaw to make the cut. You could use power tools, but given that it is a small strip, a handsaw would do the job. Now similarly, cut the 12mm strips of wood. We need two of them, 6 inches in length and 4.5 inches in width. Now the base and the sides of the DIY holder is almost ready. For the curve on the sides, use a bowl to mark the curve along the edges. Cut a straight line closer to the curve. And use a rasp to bring the curvy shape to the sides. Now drill a hole using a hole saw on the sides. The hole should be high enough from the base to allow the paper towel to roll freely. If not, it will touch the base and will not roll at all. The holes should also be wide enough to freely allow a wooden stem to be inserted through them. To fix the sides vertically to the base, align and drill holes on the face of the base and the bottom of the side planks. Use screws to secure the sides with the base. You can instead just use wood adhesive or use it along with screws for additional reinforcement. The paper towel holder is almost ready to use. Insert a wooden stem through the holes and the towel roll and your paper towel is just about ready to be put to good use. To hold the stem in place inside the holes, I permanently fixed a circular piece of wood on one side of the stem, while on the other side, I used an iron piece and a magnet to make it removable. Adding color to this project is not within the scope of this video. You may however check out my Christmas tree project where I have explained how to use acrylics on wood or the staining procedure using OB fillers. I also have a detailed post on how to stain wood on my blog. You can now install the holder on the wall, under your kitchen cabinet or just place it on the kitchen counter. Thank you for watching. Do remember to subscribe to my YouTube channel and follow us on social media platforms. Until next time, this is Somo Padmanabhan from Voodoo's.com.